This is a little watercolour sketch I did last week when I was in Morocco. I uh, was actually teaching but also doing research for a painting holiday I wish to take there next November. Anyway, more news of that later. Now, the olives um, there, in this instance, were green and purple, but I've just been out and picked a twig off a nearby tree, and these ones are very dark, but I've picked it to show you the colours, and I'm also going to paint this again to show you how I went about it. Here is, in fact, the sprig that I did. I didn't put all the leaves on but this is a useful painting exercise so I just want to show you how to go about it without getting bogged down in too much detail. Let's just move that a minute. So let's have a look at this. I always say to look at your subject in great detail before you do anything. So we've got a twig that gets narrower as it gets to the end as I paint this, I will probably um, truncate that. I'll just make, make it end there somewhere. I don't want all that there. And we've got little knobs here where the stalks and the leaves have come off and left um, some scar tissue. I'm looking for the stem, something around about a raw rumber probably. And then when we go to the leaves, they're very, they're a very long, just so you can see it a bit better, a long slender leaf and it's dark on the top and light on the bottom. Now I've been playing about with colour and I have come up with, let me just put a bit there, cadmium yellow and indigo which gives a reasonably good match there. And for the underside, it really is a bit more of a brownie colour, isn't it? So, I don't know, maybe a sienna. Let's have a look, a bit of sienna with that green. A bit more sienna. Raw sienna, that is. Watered down, that might do. Yeah, OK. Because we're going to see both sides of these leaves, possibly. Then again, maybe not. But that might be a good colour for the stalks. And when it comes to the grapes, and sorry, I'm saying grapes, they're actually olives, but it makes me think of grapes because they are a similar colour and they have this sort of bloom. This, if you rub it, you can, you can rub it off. I don't know what that is, this sort of bloom. And of course, we want to get the highlight on them. So where am I going to start? Well, I'm going to start just by doing a stalk and I'm just going to do it in that position. Now, you can very handily see there is a shadow cast. Let me see if I can point a light at it a little bit more. Oh, that's coming from a different direction, so not so helpful there. But we've got a shadow idea already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a stalk in, in a very pale raw umber. I'm using a number seven brush. Now I'm going to have to move that out of the way but I'll pop it up there so you can... No, I'll have to move it out of the way, okay, otherwise you won't be able to see. Okay, so I'm going to just sort of go... I've got the shape in my head and that will do me as a guideline for the twig. Okay, coming back to it, I'm going to just put the thicker end in. And we have some little knobby bits. And you see how the colour is running because it's all very wet. And I've got an olive coming out here, so I'm just going to go and put a stem in. I've got another one coming out here, so I'm going to put the stem in. I've got another one coming down here. I'm concentrating on placing the olives first. Now if you look at them, some of them, oh that one's got two together, so that's interesting, but they sprout out not just where the leaves are but also along the branch. So let's just have a 
look at that. Right, I've just put those in vaguely just to get me started and now I am going to just vaguely put some olives in and I'm going to use Payne's Grey to start with. Of course it's a bluey grey and I'm going to do it quite, quite um, weak. Okay, there's one. There's actually one in front of that, but of course I keep moving the branch, so they're going to change, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Just use the stalk, or go out and pick something similar, any nice berry, just use it as a guideline. And I'm leaving white gaps between the stalks and the stem just so I've got a bit of room to play with. And I'm just going to dab off, which is great, it just gives me that nice textured thing and it gets me started. Now I'm going to put a few leaves in because I feel as if I need to get that shape starting to compose where the olives and the leaves are going. So again, I'm going pretty weak. I've got this cadmium yellow and some indigo, which is pretty near. And I'm going to do a leaf up here. leaf going behind. Take more water on board and there I've left the centre because there is in fact the light vein going through the leaf. But this is just a little sketch so don't get hung up. It is not, as I often say, a botanical drawing. Let's have another leaf coming somewhere out of the stem there. Of course we can add more colour as we go along. And we'll have a leaf coming down here. That colour's not too bad. And another leaf coming up behind. And then we want more olives. We want some more leaves here. And I'm going to just do this one very pale so it's as if it's the underside. And it's that sort of colour that is actually joining the... Let's make you a little bit curved. Right, I need to get some more stalk in there now. So I'm going back to the raw umber. And because of the light source, the, the shade is underneath. So I'm just going to put a little bit more raw umber underneath. just dab off a bit because it's quite light. By doing this dabbing, oh dear look I've made a mess there, by doing this dabbing off you can get some quite nice effects as well and then this is what happens 
and you have to be very quick and say never mind we can fix it or if we can't we'll put another leaf there because that indigo is quite a strong staining colour okay fret not let that dry and then we can do something about it later okay now where are we we want some um, stalk a bit more these are quite yellowy that's coming down to another olive that one there that one there we'll have another one there we'll have a double one there and let's have one of course they're heavy they're going to hang down there and there and we might be able to cover that patch up okay right so back to the olives we've got the Payne's grey and I'm just going to darken that a bit more and I'm going in the back one behind which hasn't got a stalk as yet. Rinse the brush off, just dab off the excess. And just let that run around a bit. I want it to be a sort of wet little watercolour. Nothing too controlled. Remember to leave highlights, you can tidy those up later. Think where your light source is coming from, it's coming this way. And we've got one here we need to put in. And we have a couple more here. That one over the top slightly smaller maybe, or maybe just overlapping that leaf. And we're coming down there. The thing also is to get movement by having these, these bending stalks, you see? They're not straight out, they bend and, and come over the edges and overlap things. Right, let us put an olive in front of that smudge. So if something goes wrong, don't go into an immediate panic because there's usually a way around it. And have another one here. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my green, just widen that a bit. And you see by putting that dark colour on it immediately takes your attention away from the smudge mark. Oh, that was going to be the underside, wasn't it? Oh, never mind. I rather like that 
muckling effect. Let's have another one here. It just makes it look a little bit more interesting if the paint isn't perfectly applied. just a little bit more Payne's Grey. Oh, that's a bit black blob. Just in parts. Okay. Now, let's see how that looks in comparison to that. Uh, let me just move the camera slightly. Well, quite different. Uh, but that was Morocco. That's France. So maybe the olives were a different breed. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Now what I'm going to do now is just vaguely put some shadows in uh, where it's resting. We're going to have a... Oops, that's far too dark. Just a very vague idea of some shadows. Because remember, the shadow is only going to touch the object if it's touching the surface. So some of these, you know, it's raised off the ground, so the shadows are going to be very very vague. We've got lots of different angles. Oh look that's bled into that, I quite like that. Let's do it with the others. Not that one, that's too dark. So there we have it. A fun little watercolour but a way of looking break it down always look at things really well it's the twig it's the curved stems into the fruit it's the leaves and get some shape into it get some movement anyway have a go if you can't find olives see what else you can find but I hope you enjoyed that fun little watercolour sketch <laughs>